I'm Peter Grunwald. I'm the group leader of the machine learning group at CWI. CWI has been a pioneer in machine learning. I started in 1994 and then I was one of the first PhD students in Europe in this subject. Now everybody talks about machine learning. It's everywhere. The last 10 years we've seen enormous breakthroughs in machine learning. We can really do speech recognition, we can really do object recognition. But one big issue is that enormous amounts of data are needed to have our machine learning algorithm really learn from the data. So that's why at CWI we want to focus on efficiency. Efficiency in terms of data, in terms of energy, in terms of computation time. One of the things we also research, and it's related to this efficiency problem, is how do you go through a tree of choices that you can make in an efficient manner. So when playing games, both humans and computers have a tree in their mind. It's a tree of options of where you can go if you make a certain move, what the opponent might move and how you go beyond that. The size of such trees can really explode very quickly. But perhaps it's possible to search efficiently through the tree by using statistics. Of course, what everybody has seen is that the computer now beat the humans at Go. Go is an ancient Chinese board game. Uh, it's very complicated. It's known to be super hard to learn and also super hard to play well. It's a seminal moment in the development of machine learning because before there was really this notion that Go is such a hard problem, it's gonna take forever before machines can do this. So it's been solved. It's a big topic and, and we draw inspiration there from how biology works. A very literal example is if you have a rat navigating a maze. This is a favorite tool in, in neuroscience to figure out how brains make decisions. So we're collaborating with the biologists in the neuroscience institutes here to figure out the algorithms that brains use to do this. The group members have good chemistry. It's a right mix of people. We regularly go for lunches uh, together. Sometimes we have dinner at one of the group members' home. And I think this is really important that if you have a research group that you can also get along well at a personal level. Some of them are more applied, some of them are very theoretical. But we all share, we all have in common that we like fundamental questions. I'm Judith de Schure. I'm a PhD researcher in the machine learning group here at CWI and I work on both machine learning and statistics. My project description is quite broad, so I can really focus on what I think, what for me is the most interesting. You can choose your own way, but also the senior people in your group can help you if you need to narrow down your research or need more structure, but it's really flexible. CWI has always given me the opportunity to pursue fundamental research in machine learning, also at a time when this was not widely considered an important subject. I really am happy that at CWI there were people with the vision that made this possible and that gave us the freedom to pursue these goals.